Alright guys, welcome back to J Force Gaming and today we have the new mechanical keyboard that we are reviewing is the Fucker IK65, alright? I know the name, I am not swearing, alright? It is I don't know how to really pronounce this, alright? F-E-K, alright? But uh, today we are going to look at this really interesting mechanical keyboard right here. Alright, so this uh, keyboard was uh, that's come in two colors, one is the brown and one is the white one. And what I have here, I think, is the white one. Alright, and uh, this is a sort of like a vintage look. Alright, because behind here they have two different kind of colors, and you can see they have like uh, uh, all the details at the back. Alright, so it's pretty cool. We're gonna open this up, and I'm gonna show you what we get inside the box. So uh, without further ado, now let's uh, open this thing up. Alright, and uh, we are greeted with a really nice sticker where you can like stick it anywhere on your PC or you know anywhere. Really, really nice. And we do have the keyboard itself. Uh, Alright, so um, yeah, let me just get the keyboard out real quick. Alright, we have this really nice plastic to protect the keyboard as well. So we're gonna put this aside, and uh, we do get a quick start guide on how to get started with this. Alright, and let's see what are the accessories that we get. Alright, so we do get a few accessories inside here. Alright, uh, I think that is all of the accessories. Okay, so we do get a USB-C to USB-A cable to uh, power up or charge up your keyboard because this thing is also a wireless keyboard as well, which I'm going to explain more features later. Alright, so we do get a USB-C. You can use it for connections to your PC as well. We do have a... Key, key caps and key switch puller all right so this really interesting device over here all right which you can pull out the key caps or switch out the key switches because this whole thing is hot swappable so you can uh, swap to whatever uh, other key switches that you would like as well and we have a knob here as well it's quite tiny I don't know all right so this knob is uh, actually for to replace the top knob which i'm going to talk about later on so yeah these are the accessories that we get let's put the accessories aside for now Alright, and let me just show you the keyboard itself. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, mine was not the white one, mine was the brown version one. Alright, so as long as I show you, they have the white one as well. So uh, first of all, this is how the keyboard looks like. And it looks really, really amazing, alright. You can see the layout, the colour-wise, nicely well-built. All, all, all the uh, QWERTY, all this are, uh, um, you know, uh, very, very nicely um, Colored coded, all right. So it differentiates between the uh, key, key, the key, the usual keys that you use compared to other keys, and we have a really, really nice knob, shiny reflective knob over here. So this thing is really, really cool. My first impression on this, this thing is really, really lightweight. So if you want to use this, if you are a competitive gamer, you want to use this to you know travel around the world, all right. Um, you know for competitive games, or you know you just like to bring. Your keyboard around for work and charge you can bring this around this thing is really really lightweight as well all right and uh, my first impression of the build quality on this keyboard is really really nice very sturdy i can feel it's very sturdy it's not an, any of those cheap plastic the plastic feels really really nice the material feels really nice all right and uh yeah so this are this is my first impression and uh for the keycaps wise all right it, it's a double shop cherry uh keycaps all right which uh, for right here, I, I have uh, plucked out this one for you to see, alright. So this is the key switches itself with the uh, key cap. So everything is hot swappable on the inside as you can see, alright. So everything, the key switches, alright, all the, uh, all the uh, key, key caps can be switched out. Alright, so uh, the, the, key, the key switches that came with this keyboard, alright, it is the marble white switch. So it's fully white and um, it's very, very subtle. Alright, not very tactile, not very clicky, it's more for a silent one, but it's very satisfying to type on, alright, although it's silent, it's good for like night gaming and charge, alright. Alright, so um, I'm gonna just do a quick typing experience to uh, to feel how it's like to type on this keyboard itself, alright. Uh, and, and yeah, it is very, very nice to type on, very satisfying, the tactile click is so nice to type on, alright. Here is a footage of some ASMR typing. You guys can hear it for yourself.
Well, as you guys can hear it, it's so, it feels, the sound is so satisfying to hear and it's so satisfying to type on, alright? I think this, the switches is looped as well, so when you type on it, it's, it's very silent, alright? And um, it's not very silent, but it's like very nice, tactile kind of feel to it. And it's just overall very, very satisfying to type on. I can type on this all day, alright, without being, you know, tired of it, alright? And uh, because underneath here, there is uh, some sort of special foam, that also suppress the sound all right and um, it, it makes it more quieter which is perfect for using it at night all right i know a lot of like silent switches they are not really nice to type on i have a few other silent switches it just feels like a membrane keyboard all right like, it's like it doesn't feel like a mechanical keyboard at all all right but this is totally different all right this is silent yet satisfying to type on every type down you can feel the like a very nice click to it Alright, uh, and yeah, it's just overall really, really satisfying to type on. Alright, and another thing on this keyboard, like I say, this thing also can be used wirelessly. It's basically, this thing has three different type of connection you can use it, alright? So, uh, for the first connection you can use is you can connect it via Bluetooth. Alright, so you can use it to, with any devices that you have Bluetooth, like your phone, your tablets as well, you can be connected as well. Or if you want to use on your PC, you can also use a 2.4 GHz dongle located at the back here. So this dongle just plugs into your PC and you can or your laptop and you can use it in a 2.4 GHz mode all right, for a lower latency and faster response time. All right, and thirdly, we have the a wired connection if you want to just you know wire it up to your PC and charge without worrying to the need to recharge and charge. All right, and talking about recharge, this thing inside here has one of the highest capacity batteries inside this keyboard that I've seen in most uh, any other mechanical keyboard out there. Right, so this thing inside has a four thousand milliampere, all right, battery inside here which can last you for many many days or months before the needs to charge. So this thing has a really, really high capacity battery inside here, which is really, really amazing. All right, we can last you long enough without the need to worry about it to charge it frequently. All right, so uh, let's show you at the back here, all right? We do have the, the switch I said before. So you can switch between different types of connection type, Bluetooth, uh, we have wired, and we have uh, 2.4 gigahertz, all right? And then now moving forward, Right here, it is the knob itself. This knob can be customizable and as well as other of the keycaps. Alright, so other key switches, you can also customize it for various functions as well. Alright, and um, this thing is very, very nice. This knob is very, very nice to the touch, alright. And it's clicky, so you can adjust the volume. You can, you know, calibrate it to uh, adjust the volume or, you know, uh, do certain type of stuff that you will need it. Alright, it all can be customized as well. Alright, so um, yeah, and talking about this knob, all right, they also have another knob over here. If you don't want it to be so shiny, so uh, so reflective, you can always switch to a, a more a lower profile one, which is a black one, which also you can they also include this as well. So it's very very generous of them. You don't have to go ahead and purchase additional stuff. All right, and behind here they have a uh, different kinds of uh, level, so you can uh, angle your keyboard at various position. All right, so they have three different angles. You can lie flat on the table as well, or you can lie about I would say about a few degrees upwards, probably like thirty degrees or twenty degrees. All right, or you can go all the way upwards to probably like a cup to like a probably a thirty-five degrees angle. So there's three different uh, angles you can choose from. For your most comfort typing experience and uh, i will always go with the highest i think it just feels more better when you type on it all right and this thing is a very very compact keyboard it's only 65 percent so they only include all the keys that you will usually need there's no additional numpads or function key but you can also program the function keys on the top as well so yeah it's fully programmable and customizable right okay so what makes this a mechanical keyboard if it doesn't have RGB. So this thing has RGB backlit so it can really emulate your room at night or make your whole gaming PC experience very, very seamlessly, very, very nice. Well, overall, it gives the aesthetic looks to it. So this thing does have RGB backlight. Overall, I like the design, the weight itself, all right, and the, especially the key switches. It's just so smooth to type on, so satisfying to type on, all right? Uh, the experience that you won't get on any other customized keyboard out there, alright? So this is one of the perfect keyboard if you are going for a more vintage look, a silent keyboard and a quite a low profile kind of keyboard. This is the best to go for and it's very, very compact which is amazing for traveling 
with a really cool hot swappable key switches and keycaps. You can swap it and design it and customize it even further to your own liking. Alright, so if you guys want to check out this keyboard, alright, I'll link them in the video description down below. Go ahead and check it out. Alright, then as like I said, there's two different colors. They have the white version as well. If you don't like the uh, brown brown body, you have the uh, option to choose for the white one as well. Alright, so um, yeah, they're two different colors and uh, if you choose the white one, they have a slightly different design and color scope to it compared to this brown one. But if you like the one I'm reviewing right now, what I have here it is the brown one with marble white switches. Alright, so uh, yeah, once again, if you guys want to check out this keyboard, I'll link them in the video description down below the very first link. Go ahead and check it out and uh, be sure you guys will not be disappointed with this at all. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's all today guys. If you guys want more uh, review video like this, let me know in the comment section as well. If you guys want more, you know, me to review other keyboard or similar keyboard of the same brand, let me know in the comment section as well and I will probably do more in the future as well. And uh, without further ado, this is J-Force Gaming and I shall catch you guys in my next video. Peace out. Crap.